Yeah, we're currently doing research in southwest Bangladesh in an area called Dakub. And uh, due to um, episodic uh, weather events like storm surges and cyclones, the drinking water sources of uh, the population in Dakub has become quite saline. And currently, uh, Imperial College, together with their partners of the Dhaka University and ICDDRB, um, are looking into this problem actually in two ways. One is uh, what drives this salinity, so how do those uh, storm surges, cyclones and historic um, uh, climate events, um, how do they affect the salinity in those uh, drinking water sources in the rivers and the estuaries? Uh, and uh, the medical school is looking at how does this then impact the health of the population in uh, Dakop? Um, what does it do with the blood pressure of the people living in that area and drinking those high saline water sources? Yeah, we're currently conducting a so-called intervention trial where we're looking at what happens if uh, you offer an alternative water source which is less saline uh, to the population in, uh, in Dakop. Um, the alternative that we are offering is, is a rainwater alternative. It's a so-called MAR or Managed Aquifer Recharge System where the rainwater is um, injected into the ground uh, for later use in the, in the dry season. Uh, we recruited all the participants last uh, year and we measured them up when they were still using the conventional sources, the ponds and the tube uh, wells, and uh, we're measuring them currently again. And uh, part of this population has changed to those rainwater sources. Uh, and although uh, we don't have uh, the final results yet, we expect that uh, the, uh, the group that's now using the rainwater sources uh, will have a lower block pressure compared to last year and compared to the people that are still using uh, the conventional sources. Well, the WHO recommends uh, a maximum salt intake of 5 grams per day. And with the salinity levels that we've been measuring in Dakop, this can be easily uh, consumed by the people there by just drinking water. But if you add to that the salt that they are also consuming in their food, you can imagine that on a daily basis they're just consuming too much salt. Well, the relation between salt and uh, the risk of hypertensive disorders and car cardiovascular diseases has been studied by many people. And, um, but also we know that it's quite reversible. Um, so if you stop eating too much salt, then again your risk of disease will lower. Uh, so we're now looking if uh, this also counts for uh, water sodium. So does that work the same way as uh, food sodium? And the first study that we completed last year uh, was on pregnant women. And there indeed we saw a, a dose-response relationship between uh, uh, the water salinity and uh, the risk of hypertensive events during the pregnancy of those uh, women. Uh, well, currently we're looking uh, whether we can find this effect as well in the general population and how reversible it is if we offer them uh, a saline low alternative like rainwater.